here's the sign so far um, I've already got it painted this is a, just a piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood um, I put four coats I sprayed four coats of this orange paint on there um, I'm making three inch lines all the way around the perimeter of the sign uh, that's all going to be sprayed black then I've got some stencils that I'm going to write uh, or put on there it's going to say tree cutting ahead I'm making this for a tree cutting uh, business so it's a lot cheaper to make signs than it is to buy them so I'm just going to make them uh, but I'm doing this for a tree cutting business I've already got one sign made uh, so this is the next one so that's what I've got done so far Here's the sign all masked off. Um, you can see, as I said, all of this around the perimeter is going to be black. And then obviously the letters. Uh, so I've got that done. I've uh, got my paint gun out already. I'm going to go get the paint and mix it up and uh, put a coat on it. Uh, the last sign I've done, this, this black coat, and I only put one on it because I had to set it and turned up to where it put out more paint. So hopefully one coat is all I need here. But we'll see. But I'm going to go get my paint gun and get that mixed up. And I'll show you when I'm painting. With this gun sure seems to work a whole lot better when the, the object you're painting is standing up instead of laying down like this. I see one place there I missed. Let me try to touch that up real quick. This only thing left to do now is let it dry. And we'll pull the tape off and the paper and see what happens. Well, there's the sign completed. Uh, don't butcher me too bad in the comments. I'm not a professional sign maker. So, the other sign I made, I've got to go do a couple touch-ups on it. Then everything will be done. Hopefully I like it.